Thank you. I love getting thoughtful, topic-inspiring comments and questions from my subscribers. Today's video was inspired by a question about broken hearts that I felt deserved a well-considered answer. This question comes to me from Adam Foddy. Before I read it, let me tell you what I know about him. Adam has written several comments on other videos I've produced over the past couple of months. His questions are always on topic, considerate, thoughtful, and provide a great start for a conversation. Adam is a loyal subscriber, and I'm happy to be able to reward him with an answer to his excellent question. He asks, if you break a woman's heart, and I mean truly break her heart, is there any way back? I've spent two and a half years trying to rebuild a relationship that I ended with a girl who believed I was the love of her life. It's recently finally ended, and we are no longer in contact, but I'm left wondering, can a woman truly forgive a man who broke her heart? Then he adds, it's been a difficult couple of years, and although I miss her terribly, I know the situation had become toxic due to a total breakdown of trust on both sides. That is a complex question, so let's unpack it a piece at a time. As Adam requested, I'll give you my perspective on the situation. Considering that every relationship is unique and I don't personally know the people involved, I'll go by my experience and generalities of relationships between men and women. Let's start with the first question. If you break a woman's heart, and I mean truly break her heart, is there any way back? Yes, Adam, it has happened before and it can be done, but it requires a lot of work building trust again and it depends on the people involved. First, there must be total honesty and apology and forgiveness. Then the trust building begins and not from zero, like a new relationship, but from negative one. And you have to earn your way back to zero, then one and two and so on. If either one of you can't let it go or trust is broken again, then the relationship can't heal. Let's move on to the next part. I've spent two and a half years trying to rebuild a relationship that I ended with a girl who believed I was the love of her life. You say that you ended the relationship and then spent two and a half years trying to rebuild it. When you end a relationship, you do it for a reason. It could be you weren't happy in the relationship or you weren't ready for the commitment because you wanted to explore more choices before settling on that one woman. When you do something that damages your relationship because you want to explore other choices, you don't clearly break off. Instead, you pull away, but strands of both of you continue to cling, stretching out the pain with the possibility that you could put it back together. Since I don't know your exact circumstances, let me give you a hypothetical example. John has a living girlfriend, Mary, and he feels dissatisfied with the relationship. He isn't ready for a lifetime commitment with Mary and wants to explore more choices. John flirts with Cindy to cover up his issues with Mary. One day, while Mary is out of town, John sleeps with Cindy to drive a wedge between himself and Mary. By having a sexual encounter with Cindy, John sabotages his relationship with Mary, so he doesn't appear to be the one who ended things, even though that is what he wanted. We know that's what he wanted because of his actions. Words may lie, but actions don't. John behaves in a way that forces Mary to be the decision maker and break up the relationship. In the process, John's hurt Mary, Cindy, and himself. He draws out the painful moment of breaking up 
which should have been one honest conversation, into months of hurt, anger, and guilt. That kind of guilt can make you feel that you need to mend the relationship and heal the heart that you broke. Before you go any further, you need to answer these questions. Why did you break her heart and end the relationship in the first place? Why did you want to repair this relationship? Your responses to these questions are about you and may affect your future relationships. The next part of the question is this. It's recently finally ended and we are no longer in contact, but I'm left wondering, can a woman truly forgive a man who broke her heart? The fastest way to forgive and move forward is to be decisive, apologize for hurting the other person, and say goodbye. Then end all contact. Put away the photos and mementos and unlink all your social media so you can both heal and fill that empty space with happier and more fulfilling experiences. Don't dwell in hell. Keep walking toward the light. Can a woman truly forgive a man who broke her heart? To be honest, it isn't important or necessary that she forgives you and you have no control over that anyway. It's only necessary that you forgive her and yourself. Take a look at my video on my wisdom included channel called Why Should I Apologize? And my first video on the softer side, How to Increase Your Confidence. There are exercises in those two videos that will help you find forgiveness within yourself, which should help you to move on and find happiness. The last piece of information from Adam is this. It's been a difficult couple of years, and although I miss her terribly, I know the situation had become toxic due to a total breakdown of trust on both sides. I'm sorry you had to spend two years to learn this difficult lesson, Adam. Drawing a relationship out past its expiration date is toxic and hurtful for both of you. But I have some good news for you. There's no such thing as your one true love or soulmate. The truth is there are a great number of people we could choose to be in a long-term relationship with and find contentment. The relationships that are the most harmonious and long-lasting are between people who have much in common. Your upbringing, philosophies, goals, dreams, and lifestyles should work well together. You should make each other want to be your very best self and support each other in achieving success. This could apply to a great number of women for you. The trick is to narrowing down that number to just one that fits best into your life. Just like trying on clothes until you find the perfect look and fit for you, dating is a sorting process. Don't settle on one person until you know in your heart that you can honestly be yourself and you can talk about anything and everything with her and feel accepted and loved for who you are. Then you won't want to sabotage your relationship. Your words and your actions will be in sync. When you're ready, I want you to do this exercise. Sit quietly with a pen and a piece of paper. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. <sighs> Visualize the kind of woman you want in your life. Not just what she looks like, but what she does, how she expresses herself, and how she feels about you. Then, write down her attributes in order of importance. Add to the list or make changes over the next week. Then, post the list where you'll see it every day. Those are your non-negotiables for the woman who will help you to be your best self. In the future, if a woman doesn't have those most important attributes, you will know she's not the right fit for you. Be honest with her and with yourself and end or befriend the relationship before it goes further. You'll save time, tears, guilt, shame, and you'll find the best fitting relationship that makes you both happy. Thank you for your trust in asking that question, Adam. I hope my answer and the exercises I suggested will help you. If you have a question about a relationship, 
please leave a comment below or send me a private message here on YouTube. Take a moment to subscribe and share my channel with your friends. Thanks for meeting with me. I'll see you soon. Joe, can you freshen this up?